Let's solve this implicit differentiation problem. Let's see if we can do this if my cat will let me. Look at this equation. And we're going to try to find dy dx. And you notice, first of all, that there are two y's here, one here and one here. So, so I should expect two places where dy dx shows up when we try to find the derivative implicitly. So let's begin. Take the derivative of y, it's dy dx equals. Then we come up to this xy term. It's easy to overlook, but this is a product. So we have to take the derivative of this part as a product. The first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first, and the derivative of x is 1, plus, now we're going to, going on to the next term, derivative of x squared is 2x, but since it's an x, dx dx would be a 1, I don't have to put anything down there, plus the derivative of a constant is 0. Now we see that we have dy dx in two locations, so it would be important to get all the terms that have dy dx on one side of the equation and all the others on the other, so pretty easy to see that this would be dy dx minus x dy dx is equal to y plus 2x. And now we'll factor out the dy dx. 1 minus x y plus 2x. Then solving for dy dx, we would divide both sides by 1 minus x. And so this is the derivative found implicitly for this equation. Now they want to know what is this value when x is 2. Well, we can't just plug the x is negative 2 into the equation because we would also need the y. So we'll have to go back to the original equation to find the matching y. So I'm going to say y is equal to negative 2 times y plus 4 plus 2. So this would mean that 3y, I suppose, is equal to 6, so y is equal to 2. So I'm actually finding the derivative when x is negative 2 and y is 2. X for this for x and this for y. Now we'll plug that in. 2 plus 2 times negative 2 over 1 minus negative 2. And we end up with... Um, negative 2 over 3. Negative 2 thirds is the correct answer for the value of this derivative of this implicit function when x is negative 2. Hope this gives you an example you can follow. Thank you.